afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here to review Google. This actually had a gap down on the earnings. Unexpected, but it didn't miss the numbers. But the chart is still holding very, very well. Back here in February earlier this year, the stock made a brand new all-time high, almost at over 800, and it's a strong chart. It's holding very well. Considering the fall the markets had last week, it's right in line with that. In fact, 422 drop into 428. 422 drop into well you see here actually Google here, here's 428 this is Friday so one of the things I liked about this was this was Friday and this held the Google held better than the market you see where the queues dropped and broke really hard on Friday Google didn't so I like Google higher I like it to hold in here and and this is like an after hours thing but really where we closed tonight was 692.24 oh it's not that much difference here about here is the close. So remember, support and resistance are areas. So this is an area and it's holding. It's holding well. And the market should gap up tomorrow. So the market gaps up tomorrow, so will Google. What I really would like it to do is gap up over 700 tomorrow with the market and 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 rally. This eight period moving average pointing down with the 200 sloping in is intersecting to just go kapam, kapu, kaplui, kapow, higher, all right? And the stock has been resting for two or three days from the big day it had on Friday. No, Thursday, I'm sorry. It's resting, 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 resting. So I'm looking for the stock to be higher. It's This is a buying opportunity for, for Google. So we'll see where it goes, we'll see what it does. 705 is a big area, 708, 710, target 720, 730. And really, the stock will just kabam over 725. Really over 7, 708. 708, if we can get over 708 by tomorrow, it would be great. What does it have to do for that to happen? Gap up tomorrow morning around 700 and rally into 705, 704, and just see where it goes with the market. This needs to go tomorrow with the market. So market is neutral here tonight in the after hours. Slight gap up, but I see the market falling through higher tomorrow. Let's look at the SPY. Looks good. Where did we close today? A lot of volume here in the market. Yep, we're gapping up a little bit tonight. So I'm looking for Google to gap up tomorrow with the market. I'm in an option in this. Long, it's a call. Google is higher. Held extremely well last week with the market selling off. And this really didn't make any sense on this earnings, but whatever. It should retrace over that. When, I don't know. Could it happen this week? Yes. It has to get over 705, 708, 710, 715. But this will have a big day this week. And and I'm predicting to the upside, okay? Because this sell-off here wasn't anything crazy. And once we get, once we start digging into this area here and retracing 50%, really, here, look, it's like seven, 700, 701, 702. Retracing half the bar. Let me just look here. 708, low is 691. 708 minus 691. 850, 691 plus 850. Yep, 700. So that's the number. That's the number. Once we get up over 700, which we struggled with today, high with today was 697.84, and then we fell with the market this morning. But we basically held. So we'll see what happens tomorrow on Google. I'm going to call on this. I like it. Price in this is so cheap right now. It is just ridiculously cheap. It's so cheap you almost don't even know it's Google. So this has a great risk to reward if it all plays out. Again, looking for Google to gap up tomorrow with the QQQs and the SPY. Good luck, everyone. Have a great night. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information. You can sign up for the Gap Options annual letter, or you can sign up for the Golden Gap class, which is May 14th and 15th. Have a great day, everyone.